In this session, we're going to talk about themes. If you remember from the discussion in our session on what is a content management system and what is Drupal, you'll remember that themes were one corner of the CMS pyramid, content and Drupal itself being the other two. The great thing with themes in Drupal is that you can change the entire look and feel of your site just by clicking a button. It doesn't change your content, and of course it doesn't change Drupal either. And themes can be found all over the place. We're going to talk about that in a session coming up. But just to review real quickly, themes then give your site a completely different look and feel. And each theme has different block positions. Block positions are how you assign the content or modules from your website into different areas on your theme. On the screen you'll see three different themes, each with very different block positions header, user 1 and 2 and 3, left and right, content, top, bottom, user 4 on the left. The one in the center has even more block positions. And then the one on the right is far more just a kind of a rigid, down-the-line type of theme. Theme sources, we're going to look at each one of these in a few moments, but free themes, commercial themes, a theme generator like Artisteer, and then, of course, custom themes can cost you quite a bit of money. The way we look at our themes is to click on the Appearance tab. And in our built-in website, we have two. Bartik 7.2, which currently is the default theme, and 7.2, which is a really simple one-column table. It's fluid with theme, and it's just kind of boring. Garland 7.2 has been disabled, as has Stark 7.2. We can choose the administrator theme here, but for now, let's just leave everything the way it is, and we'll talk about that in the next session.